During the medieval period, it was common to punish criminals with various forms of public humiliation or torture. One such device used was the stocks or the pillory. These devices were designed to aim to humiliate the petty criminal, and hopefully the shame of being held in a structure in public, being shamed in front of a crowd, would put the person off re-offending. The stocks and pillory were used for a huge amount of crimes, and were very popular. So join us today as we look at the stocks and the pillory, the medieval methods of torture that aim to humiliate a criminal into submission. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Now firstly, there is a difference between the pillory and the stocks. Most people consider the stocks to be the device where the hands and head are placed into and trapped, then objects can be thrown at the person inside. Well, the difference between the two is that the pillory is a device that was used for securing the heads and the hands, and the stocks were the device that simply was only used for restraining the feet. So the pillory held the heads and the hands, with the offender standing. The stocks held only the feet, with the offender sitting. The main aim as mentioned earlier for these punishments was humiliation and to bring shame upon an individual who had committed wrong. But there was also an element of pain added to it. The public, once someone was in the stocks or the pillory, would be encouraged to shame and insult the captive. However, things could turn rather nasty if the offender wasn't well liked by the local crowd. The local soldiers and guards were supposed to prevent a criminal inside the pillory or stocks being severely harmed but there are accounts where objects such as rocks were thrown at a criminal, and subsequently the person then died from their injuries. The most famous object that's gone down in history that was thrown at people inside the stocks or pillory are rotten tomatoes, however much else could be thrown at an individual. They whilst being held there could be spat at, sworn at, and even pelted by offal from abattoirs, dead animals, fruits, vegetables and much more. Particularly strongly disliked prisoners and members of a town, could even be pelted with broken glass or bricks, which could be fatal. Some kind of members of the public would simply just tickle an offender's feet when they could be held inside the stocks. These punishments could last a long time. Those held inside the pillory could be locked for hours and even a full day, and it would be extremely uncomfortable. Some prisoners, however, could spend days or weeks inside of the device. This would be made even worse if bad weather struck the town, the convicted would be forced to spend a long time inside of their punishment device being pelted by the strong rain. There was a positive of the bad weather though. If the rain was particularly heavy, it would put a crowd off gathering and their punishment would be less public and possibly easier. The stocks are even documented in the Bible and they are employed by civil and military bodies from the medieval period and they lasted even until the early modern times. In England, the Statute of Labourers 1351 would state that the stocks were to be unused for unruly artisans and it was required that every town and village would create a set of them. The stock usually consisted of a wooden hinged board with opening for the victim's feet which were then often chained and held in place to prevent escape. It was usually made of two wooden planks which had holes cut in the centre. It was incredibly simple yet effective. Sometimes a wooden bench was added for the victim to sit down but this was rare. Stocks would be placed anywhere in the view of the public, such as in the grounds of a castle or in the middle of a marketplace or town. During this time period too, the stocks could even possibly be deployed by the church and there was sometimes a religious aspect to the punishment. Inside churches, stocks were rarely used as a way of getting someone to confess their sins. The sorts of crimes that someone could end up in the stocks for was quite varied. Remember that more serious offences such as murder would be dealt with by the executioner and that the stocks were there to humiliate people from committing minor offences. Examples of these crimes were begging, public drunkenness or inebriation, swearing, shortchanging someone, cheating customers, selling poor quality merchandise, for example if a butcher was found selling meat that was rotten or if an alehouse was found to be selling watered down beer then the owners could be placed in the stocks. There were accounts of more serious crimes such as witchcraft and heresy being dealt with by them in order to obtain a confession. The people who were punished inside of them could come from different walks of lives, being travelling musicians, fortune tellers, vagrants, wife beaters, unruly servants, petty thieves, gamblers, drunkards or even those who broke the Sabbath. The pillory could also be used for these sorts of crimes and it was considered a rather degrading punishment. The head and arms would be placed on display and completely were vulnerable for things to be thrown. 
a paper sign was also hung around the offender's head, outlining their offence. For political offences, further punishment could be inflicted, such as nailing the offender's ear to the pillory, instead of them being locked in. Sometimes too, afterwards, the ears of the offenders would be cut off, leaving them on the pillory. This happened in the case of William Prynne, who was a critic of Charles I and the Anglican Church. He was sentenced to stand in the pillory for seditious libel, and had his left ear cut off. He was also branded with the initials SL on his cheek, matching his crimes. People inside of the pillory could also be branded or whipped, making their ordeal even more painful. The pillory in 1816, after being around for centuries in England, was restricted as punishment for only perjury or subordination. It was formally abolished as a form of punishment in England and Wales in 1837, but the stocks would remain in use and were used up until 1872. The last person to suffer the pillory in England was Peter Bossy, who chose an hour inside the pillory over seven years' transportation. The stocks and pillory were often made as a symbol of the judicial system, and the fact they were left out in public also acted as a deterrent. Being sentenced to the stocks and pillory was most probably a terrifying ordeal for many of those people who were subject to it. It could be extremely painful and dangerous, and depending on your standing within the town, that could shape your experience. Obviously, if you weren't well liked, you could be subject to extreme injury, depending on what was thrown from a crowd. The stocks and the pillory were an effective deterrent and were a significant event in the weekly lives of the town. The sheer sight of seeing another individual locked inside these devices would have been enough to have hopefully put you off making the wrong decisions. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.